Ever since I moved to New York in 2007, I've had this dream of seeing Frank Spangenberg on the beat. It hasn't happened yet, but seeing him on TV is like seeing an old friend. Let's see how he did on the final wager. Well, I've got some egg on my face today. I thought Frank was running away with this one, but Phoebe and Mark, both outstanding champions and still both outstanding players. Wagering situations, also pretty tricky. Let's look at it. Phoebe, Frank, first and second. Frank doubles up. About 28,000. So to lock him out, Phoebe's gonna need to wager 10,901 at that dollar. If she gets it wrong, she's going to be left with 6,200, 6,199. So to stay above that, we'll look at both players at the same time. Frank can wager up to 7,800, and Mark can wager up to 4,200. Now we look at second and third, Mark and Frank. Mark doubles up. He's gonna have 20,800. So Frank will need to wager 6801. So he's got this little range here. If he gets it wrong, he's going to be left with uh, 7199. So Mark can wager up to 3200 against Frank. Now we look at rule number three. Can any of our players cover a zero wager by the other while remaining in their uh, required range? Frank and Mark are separated by 3600. That's more than Mark can put on the line without risking losing on the downside. So no, none of our three players can wager to cover a zero wager by the other safely. All three players wagered very well. Phoebe, a little bit too much, but I think she knew she was against some good wagerers. She wasn't gonna win if she got it wrong no matter what. Now I mentioned I thought this situation was pretty tricky. And I'll show you that there are some alternative wagers that our players could look into. Mark can't cover a zero wager by Frank. So if he wagers at 3,200, he'll have at most 13,600. So Frank, if he wants to consider it, could wager between zero and 399. The other alternative wager is if Phoebe thinks that Frank will wager rationally, he can only wager 7,800, which will put him at 21,800. To top that, Phoebe could wager 4701. Then if she gets it wrong with that total, she'll be left with 12,400. So therefore, Mark will wanna wager at least 2001. That's a lot of thinking. That's a little too much thinking, but if you really want to consider it, you do have alternatives once in a while. Well, if you found that deconstruction fun, you're in the right place. And I hope to see you tomorrow for the last of our Battles of the 1980s. We'll take it apart on the final wager.